welcome to Starting Up, the only show on television that captures the spirit and innovation of the Indian startup community. This week, we come to you from luxury and lifestyle store Good Earth. We've got an action-packed show. Here's what's coming your way over the next half hour. On the show this week, learning through robotics, it's building blocks on what's your story. Fed up of all the corruption you see around you? Delhi's entrepreneurs have a solution. All the action from Starting Up at Startup Saturday. And finally, locate and track just about anything. It's Techno Purple on Elevator Pitch. Now, one of the first few startups that we featured here on the show was a robotics firm called Think Labs. Here, somebody who's trying to emulate their success. It's time then for a few learnings from robotics. Surbhi Koyal caught up with Delhi based startup Building Blocks. <laughs> A walking robot or simply a ball thrower. While instilling learning, Building Blocks brings the do-it-yourself robotic kids to the worlds of young minds. Inspired by his own experience of learning through robotics, Tarun Bhalla decided to launch Bulo Robotic Kids to ensure that learning becomes fun. A, it's very exciting. I mean, uh, for a school or for a child to get excited about robotics, it's very easy. And uh, B, because of the way the subject can be taught. It's a great combination of uh, science, mathematics and computer science. So, you know, A, it's marketable. B, it's, uh, it has great uh, content value. Launched in mid-2008 with a capital of 20 lakhs, Building Blocks provides educational toys so that school kids can learn at their own pace. But standing a chance in the race where international players and Indian startups have made a mark already, it was challenging for Tarun and team to make inroads. The challenges were uh, were just tremendous. I mean, I started as a single man army. Uh, I was, you know, I kind of phrase it like this: I was the P2P of the company, peon to president of the company. So first, developing a kit like this. Second, finding vendors like that. And third and most important, finding the right people to come and join and work with me. So after managing the business solo, Tarun managed to rope in like-minded people for his dream venture. And not just team members, but vendors too, that later turned out to be instrumental in supplying material to building blocks. See, vendors are center stage of a business. If we look at our business very carefully, there is very little manufacturing that we do on our own. What we do is we own the customer relationship, that is our relationship with the, the channel partners and the schools. And then we have a R&D setup and then finally we own the supply chain. So we don't really produce anything. So our for our business, vendors are most important in that phase. So while vendors help in inputs, building blocks distributors help in selling the output. Through these distributors, Building Block supplies its kits to almost 60 schools in Delhi and Sia, Jaipur and Chandigarh. Distributors who also help in imparting knowledge about the robotic kits and its mechanism. Uh, it's so different from the classroom teaching. There is no whiteboard involved, there is no, you know, chalk on the board. It's so much hands-on. What they have learnt in the classroom, they are able to apply the concepts here, the physics concepts and basically and they are able to uh, bring in their creativity, imagination in a different form. Once the kids are assembled, they are brought to school to conduct workshops involving both students and teachers. And after that introductory session, each student is given his own kit to probably use as a PlayStation. Setting up robotic labs in school premises is another aspect of building blocks. So while school kids can have their own do-it-yourself kids, they can learn new models or upgrade their kits from these labs. When I saw the kit, I felt very excited because I love robotics and that we are trying to make a robot car here so that it can move. We are trying to make a robot car so that it can move using many different parts. It's a difficult job, but we can. In this robotics camp, why I chose it is because I wanted to be, become a robotics engineer when I grow up. And I wanted to learn how to make machines and I wanted to make like robotics, robots. She do all of my work on my house and I feel free. The 
pricing model is one where they offer different price points for different kits. We have three uh, different uh, product uh, products within the robotics portfolio. One is Robotonics Mini, which comes at 7.99 a pop, and we have Robotonics Lite, which is like 1500 bucks, and then Robotonics Full, which is 5000, and then a classroom bundle for school. And with current revenues of 70 lakhs and an expectation of 2 crores by 2012, Building Block hopes to rope in more kids to play with these smart toys. There's no doubt learning can be creative, interesting and a whole lot of fun. Great, after robotics, it's math and science kits that Building Blocks will now focus on. In fact, come to think of it, supplementary services to schools, whether it's training programs, software or mobile solutions, all are without a doubt a great opportunity. No wonder then we've seen so many startups latch on to that trend. We'll take a breather here on the show, but coming up. Can India's startup community create a product that helps fight corruption? Find out after the break.